Ready? Welcome back to Jay's Reptile World Australia everyone. Today we will be looking at an eastern small-eyed snake. There are venomous species in eastern Australia. They don't get very large, they only get to about 1, 1 1.2 metres long. I'll just get it out before I talk about it a bit more. Not generally considered deadly to people, but they can have an allergic reaction. So some people won't have a worse reaction than others. You can see there, it's a black species. Sometimes they can be a greyish tinge. This one's actually come out just after the storms. I think she's laid a clutch of eggs. See down the back of the body here, she's really thin now, out of condition. I'm sure she's just laid a clutch of eggs in the last couple of nights. And now she's out looking to feed again. So, quite a large female, this one. So, a lot of people in Australia have mistaken these for baby red belly black snakes. You can see she's actually got a tick on her there too. So, so. You can see there, they have a reddish belly on them. But the difference is, with a red belly black snake, when they're on the ground, you will see that ventral lateral red edge there. And you can also have a look at her eye there. I'll get her eye up. You can see there she has a little black eye, whereas with a red belly black snake they will have a pupil in their eye, and you can see the pupil, so, and that's why these are called an eastern small-eyed snake. So. Beautiful little animal, not often seen, very secretive, lives a lot in the mulch, under debris. They can live in quite large colonies actually, very similar to the yellow-faced whip snake. You can find them in large numbers together. So. See, she's way out of condition. She has a tick on her because she's a wild animal. I'm convinced she's just laid a clutch of eggs with the storms in the last couple of nights. Now she's off feeding again to put up her, build up her body weight again to breed in the next couple of years again. So they get about twice this length, but you very rarely see them much bigger than this. So a lot of the ones we catch are even smaller than this. So. Beautiful animal, quite placid. I know a fella up north lives near Atherd and he got bit by one once when he was working in a reptile park. He got quite sick and he had to actually go to hospital. So he was actually telling me about it when I was at Jim's at Cooktown one time. Not, not as fast, not fast like the whip snakes. Like that black whip snake we seen the other week, the fastest snake in Australia. These are a lot more manageable to handle. Still a beautiful animal, all animals to be admired and respected in their own natural environment. Feral species must be dealt with, but any species in its natural environment should always be respected. You see on the belly there, some of them can be a really bright pink. This one's quite drab, but you can still see the red tinge there. That's why a lot of people mistake them for red belly black snakes. But the key difference is that eye. See the little black button eye? Whereas a red belly will have a pupil in the centre of the eye. So. Hence the name Eastern Small-Eyed Snake. So. Beautiful species, you can see how shiny it is in the sun there. Just about to release her, she can go on her way, start fattening up and hopefully she'll breed again in a couple of years for the next generation. So. Everything has its place in the environment. We respect all animals in their natural environment. So. So I'll just let her go over the fence here. And she can go on a merry way. There you go, girl. Off you go. She go that way. There she goes, off to live her life. She'll slide in under the leaf litter. She'll disappear in no time. Just wanted to be hidden before I walk away so no birds, kookaburras. Other predators get her when we've exposed her to the open. So, there she goes. Beautiful animal. See the sheen in the sun. Beautiful little species. Not often seen, but very common nonetheless. That's it. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.